This once feared warlord during Liberia's decade-long civil war says he's now fighting a drug epidemic. He's my pops, says this man. I would kill for him. In these ghettos in the capital Monrovia, the children who once fought for him have now grown into gang members and drug addicts. They call him General Butt Naked because he fought without clothes alongside children hooked on drugs he provided. Before going into battle, Bly says he and his army of child soldiers ate the hearts of children they'd captured. I'm looking for cheap money. Yeah. Cheap money promised me that you will give me 20 children under the age of 15. For what purpose, asks this man? The enemy is attacking the most brilliant children. That's why you see this. That's why I'm worried. The nation is going to be strangulated if we don't rescue these guys. The enemy he refers to are drug lords in Monrovia. We're told to leave and that gangs are after us. The UN says Liberia is among several West African countries used as transit hubs for cocaine and heroin coming from Latin America and Asian countries to European markets. The next day we meet Bly at his home. In his backyard are barracks for the teenagers he's picked off the streets. They say Nigerian gang members are distributing drugs in the ghettos, hooking children on heroin or pharmaceuticals like the painkiller Tramadol. I want to become a lawmaker because no one will talk for us in the House of Representatives. We are vulnerable on the streets, smoking drugs. I want to become a lawmaker to protect my friends. Blai has admitted to the country's Truth and Reconciliation Commission that he's responsible for the killings of more than 20,000 people during the Civil War. Now he says he's these children's protector. The work that the former warlord Joshua Blai has done with street children has attracted public sympathy and has protected him, in effect, from public prosecution, despite the recommendations made by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Blai says protecting children is a way for him to repent for his past crimes. I think what I did was wrong and there is no excuse for it. And me and others who did this should pay for it. But as I'm waiting for justice, I want to be given back. For this former warlord, Liberia has become the front line of a drug war it cannot afford to lose. He says it's a battle he will fight out of responsibility and guilt for his past crimes and for his country. Statements that few here are in a position to challenge. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Monrovia.